I'm gonna show you all this new prototype for spat collector that um I designed. I left the uh, top of the poles long, and now I'll mark it with some paint, so when the tide gets up, people won't run into it or tear it up. But um, this here is screening. I attached it um, to the back, and then just used a uh, half-inch strip to um, connect it, and. Uh, this will stretch out to that other one right there. And it has four layers, and each layer is about 25 foot long, three foot wide. And the uh, spat will take and collect them. They'll attach to this material right here. And then what you do is you take this material. After uh, about a year, you take this material and cut it to two foot lengths with the spat attached to it. And you slide this into your grow out bags with the spat on it and then until the spat gets about that size right there and then you can just pull them right off of it and um, put them in your little bit bigger mesh grow out bags basically that's how it works i've already had a little bit of experimentation out on my lease from last year the bottom level <clears throat> bottom level is going to be about third well based off of wherever you're your um, column lease is um, your bottom level is going to be measured up to like say the point where spat starts to collect mine is uh, 13 inches and maximum they stop growing about um, four and a half inches uh, each section is about four and a half but uh, no higher than whatever this was this four and a half inches gap basically to allow current to flow and um so there's not a whole lot of conflict for feeding uh, i figure for each two foot netting i probably get about um 100 to 150 spats for each two foot by three foot section if i can get at least uh 150 spats per two foot by three foot section that'll be perfect uh, anything more is just awesome Okay, if you want to look at what I'm building over here, just for bonus, uh, this is a portable nursery. I found some swimming pools on sale for like five dollars at Lowe's. Uh, they're normally they're like twelve, thirteen dollars, but um, just drill drainage holes in it and put screen over top of it. And uh, I'm doing some other experimenting things with it, and I can't really show you that because I don't want to give away all my secrets. Okay.